What are some noticeable differences between dating Asian women and non-Asian women? Men are discussing this on the internet and we're gonna try to actually make a non-offensive video about it. Yes, <laughs> so anyway guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Check out Small Ass Sauce at smallassauce.com, available for pre-order, Andrew. This went viral on Reddit, and let's be clear here, Andrew. This thread is only possible with so much different input from so many different people around the country because there is a higher percentage of Asian guys dating non-Asian women now in 2024 than po probably ever before, right? Yeah, and I do want to also note that obviously everybody is an individual, not every single one person represents Represents their entire race, but there are cultural differences from different people come from different communities where there's different cultural norms and obviously different cultures. Us always talking about Asian culture, so we know that there are differences, but I don't think that every girl that was non-Asian that I've dated was like a stereotype of their race either. Do you, you think that I mean? they were like possibly outliers from their community because they're even on a date with an Asian guy to begin with? Or you're just saying that just no one person can represent all this, any sort of pattern within their community. Both, both points are true. Yeah, and I think this, I think people have to understand this, and we're gonna get into the stereotypes or the whatever the pattern recognition or whatever people's comments are in a second, but it's like, if everybody is like seventh generation Americans on both sides, at that point, most people have been pretty Americanized as their transcendent culture. Now, they still may have been treated differently in society due to their phenotype and how they're perceived genetically, and that happens in America. But culturally, if you're seventh generation and I'm seventh generation, like, we we are just American at that point, mm -hmm. primarily, right? Yeah. However, if you're dating a second generation Latina and you're se uh, a second generation Asian American guy, of course, at that point, you would see some cultural differences because it's still so like deep inside of you. Yeah. So, I mean, a disclaimer, we have, both of us have dated non-Asian women, you know, in our lives. So these are, this is based off of our uh, personal experiences. David, what are some things that you noticed uh, as you are still dating out in the world? What's right. going on? I would say this, dating non-Asian women. Uh, in like, general. Or I'd say white girls and specifically, uh, I guess, black women or white women and then Latinas more 50-50, they tend to have more stronger political opinions. Okay. Okay, like I would say that dating Asian girls, generally they're gonna be like, I'm not into politics. Like that's gonna be just something, a pattern you're gonna see. Obviously, I'm not saying 100 out of 100. I'm just saying it's a pattern that I noticed. Also, I noticed that like on the blue collar side, like if the girl comes from a blue collar family, like they might have jobs in their family, like their dad is a police officer, or a trucker, or if they're like blue collar rich, they might own a trucking company. And especially if they're white, I noticed that somebody in their family is usually works in the arts. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like a white girl or even a hopper girl, like the dad is like an artist or like a, a hippie of some type. Yeah, that's like as common as being Asian and knowing someone who works in like the food industry, like in a restaurant or something. Right, right, right. Or works in academia or something like that, or works in import export. That's really, really common in the Asian world. Um, I think they're also more likely to be combative and say stuff like, if you say something that a non-Asian girl doesn't like, they might be like, yeah, you're done. You're done. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if they just, like, disagree you with You mean something. a little bit more sassy? A little bit more like, ha-ha, blah, 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 Like, I'll yes, get yes, you. Yes, yes, okay. yes. About something that's, like, just an opinion about something that doesn't even involve you and her. Again, this does not apply to 100% of people, okay? We're just saying based off of your experiences. Right, right, right. Um, also, being willing to say stuff or vocalize things like, I don't want to work anymore. That's what I noticed. I noticed that, like, Asian people, we just always work. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think that other groups they're just trying to be on work trying to become influencers or something like that or maybe more impacted by seeing all these rich influencers that are like 23 with five lambos or whatever um i think that uh they're they're more willing to have fun in a multitude of ways maybe asian girls they tend to like want to like look up the list of like if let's say we're going to see a museum we got to go to the hottest exhibit in New York that yeah. that month. Like I, I would say like a higher percentage of the Asian girls that I've been out with like like raves versus like the non-Asian women I've been out with, like almost none of them mentioned raves. Right, and, and would you say that the Asian girls, and this is obviously a certain type of, you know, Asian girl, they would want to see the big names, the big EDM artists. Sure, sure. Right, right, right. Say that. Um, I would think what the, they drink is different when you're out. I think that oh! white women tend to drink more wine, Aperol Ooh. spritz. I think that, Black girls, they may drink more Hennessy. Okay. 
South this East is Asia from your pers- yes. this is from your experience. Listen, guys, I'm just saying from my experience. Yeah. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. I would say Latinas, they're cool drinking beer. Okay. Obviously, tequila and a you know a Caribbean girl. See, everybody's gonna say they might drink coladas. Just something more tropical. I mean, the spot has to serve coladas. But if you go to a, col- a spot that serves coladas, they, they're getting one. Yes. And I would just say that, uh, yeah, so there is differences. But it's like, I'll say this. There's like different layers of differences or similarities. You could have like similarity on your educational level and your income level or your aspirations. But then the, like the cultural layer on top of it, it's all about like stacking different layers, just like different layers on Photoshop or different layers in front of your camera lens. Mm -hmm. Like, there's certain layers that could be the same and certain layers that could be different. Right, right, right. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section, guys. Somebody said, the only real difference that I can say for sure was that all the non-Asian women I enjoyed, dated, they would eat Asian food every once in a while, but never, none of them wanted to eat it every day or multiple times a day, whereas an Asian girl was pretty much cool with eating Asian food all the time. Right. And then someone said, this is the only true comment in this entire thread. Uh, this is the, I think that this is like in a, maybe one of the most harmless, but extremely true, like probably true for like 80% of cases. Right. If you're on a date with a non-Asian girl, don't take her to the super like Chinatown spot, right? Off the bat until you know, unless you know that she's into that. Yeah. Unless she's into exploration though and stuff like that. But I would just say like, obviously as an Asian I am down to eat Asian food pretty much every day. Like three, three times a like, day, right? Like nine out of the 10 meals that I eat, right? Like eight right. out of the 10 meals, I'm down with Asian food of different types of Asian. But I can see from my experience that, you know, they were like, oh, that's cool, you know, but let's get something else next time. I've never been to certain like Americana holidays like St. Patrick's Day unless I was going out with either a half or a non-Asian girl mm-hmm. because they have more fluency in how to enjoy St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, things like that. A lot of Asians, to be honest, that are second gen, they don't participate in those days unless they got a lot of non-Asian friends. Um, Oh, also, would you agree with me, especially for white girls, Andrew? There are going to be a lot more dietary restrictions. No gluten, celiac. You know what I mean? No peanuts. Um, From my experience, no, but I don't have like a huge sample size, but that is a stereotype. So there's, it comes from somewhere. Right, right, right. Um, Somebody said in the comments section that, uh, and actually we know somebody who was a hipster Asian guy, Andrew. He was dating a hipster Asian girl. And this is like a while ago in New York. She would only go to Mission Chinese to eat Chinese food because she needed hyper elevated hipster Chinese. Mm. Like she wasn't going to go to divey spots. Mm. But you know, nowadays there's like 50 hipster Asian spots in New York. So anyway, somebody said, this is, by the way, guys, these are just comments. White women are fun and open, but they're somewhat out of touch with reality. (laughs) Uh, depending on their experiences, I guess it depends on how like white they are and how like privileged they are. (laughs) But yeah, I would say, listen, I meet some Asian girls who are out of touch with reality sometimes, Yes, you know, but you're right that obviously being a minority in this country, it gives you a little bit more perspective. White people, you don't know if they have perspective. I think they tend to be the ones that date Asian guys are like bleeding heart liberals. And sometimes that gives them like some Disney goggles or some Mm. set. Essentially, slightly inaccurate sense I, of how I the world works. I actually disagree that all the white girls who date Asian guys are super left, like liberal. I don't. No, think no, no. That's no. True. I know what you. I know what you mean. I think. See, this is where it gets complicated because unless you guys have really dated around, you guys don't know. There's, there's like the Republican type that likes Asian guys because Asians are perceived as almost like the most organically conservative living people, whether they're, or. Uh, conservative or not on the political spectrum they just live their life hyper conservatively uh-huh, uh-huh. but then there's the type that's like trying to not see color that's liberal yes so there's like two types of white no, women. i mean listen there's a lot of types of white people white people we give you credit there's a lot of you and there's a lot of america's like 68 percent white it's pretty yeah, white so a lot of different types of white people um somebody said uh i noticed that the asian and latino girls that i dated that were uh immigrants had an inferiority complex that affected them deeply I actually don't really fully agree with this one. Honestly, I'm not saying that it can't be true for what his experiences are, but it's just not mine. Because I feel like the ones that would go out with an Asian guy are already like either fighting or or don't have that inferiority complex. Because if they had one, they probably date a white guy. Mm, That's what I think. 
Um, this guy said that I noticed that Asian girls tend to be a lot more materialistic and they always want the best of everything. And they'll like, look it up. What do you think about this charge? And by the way, guys, this is from a, these are Asian guys commenting, saying that Asian women are more materialistic. Uh, obviously depending on the type. So here's the thing I think about being an Asian guy. That's kind of funny. Sometimes like for an Asian guy who dates non-Asians, the non-Asians that he dates are not of the same type or the equivalent style of the Asian women he dates. Like, I've dated some Asian women from super wealthy backgrounds, like super wealthy families. Like, I'm just gonna say that, right? But I've never dated a non-Asian from that equivalent background. Now, I've dated more Asian than I have non-Asian, of course, but I don't know if I would ever date like a multi-millionaire daughter white girl or black girl you know yes, what i'm saying i know so my yeah. access as an asian guy to the asian women pool is actually much wider right obviously no, you're, you could date up down sideways along yes. the spectrum and i've also dated obviously very humble asian women as well from humble backgrounds but i'm just saying my range in the asian world is much larger where my range in the non-asian world it's like i've dated like you know very middle class non-asian women from yeah, what yeah, i know yeah i think that that's the the type that's more open just from what I've seen. It's tough to say, but just from based on experience. You know what's something I noticed, guys, that will help you is that if the non-Asian woman thinks that like Asian culture or Asian things like Asian products or Asian restaurant and Asian foods are superior to whatever they grew up eating. Tuna casserole. Yes. So if the white girl or Latina or black girl is like, oh, wow, this is great. Like this is like it's way better than what I grew up eating. Right. Then of course- they value Asian culture on right, some level. Right. If they like taking the shoes off, they think Japan is really polite and they love, uh, you know, how civil society is right. there. <laughs> to be honest, they have to look up to it. Um, of course, Andrew, some people were talking about bedroom things. Like, there's differences. I will say that this is, there's some truth to this. I won't get into it too much. But yeah, there's some differences for sure. I mean, well, I think, you know, I, I think like, it's driven guys, by culture. It's driven by what you're taught growing up, what's your reference group for what's normative behavior growing up yeah, around of you. Of course, it's going to be true if we've heard on the other side of the conversation that Asian women, what they've said about dating non-Asian guys or how that is different than Asian guys, then yeah, it's just like different cultures. So Asian culture to me is generally more sexually repressed and it's like, it's crazy because I do think some of the Asian women that are like, I don't know how to say it, like super freaky deaky, they tend to date out more. Dude. And the ones that stay in are more like with the Asian ways. Who do you think invented BDSM, David? Who do you think invented B? Do you think that came from Asia necessarily? It's funny now, really trending in China. Yeah, now in China. Yeah, yeah. But it's All right, the of, Japanese might have had their own version, but I'm just saying. Yeah, they had some freaky I knew stuff going on. Yeah. Um, this guy said that he noticed that if an, a non-Asian female is willing to date you long-term or potentially get married to you, she's almost going to become pro-militant, pro-Asian male. Like, basically, she's going to become like an activist for Asian men or for Asian culture all right. if she marries an Asian all right, guy. All right, and this is funny because this, this, in, like the, the in the comment... Theory, in the, on the internet, in the comment section of Instagram or Reddit, whenever I see other non-Asian men making jokes about Asian guys packing a smaller eggplant, there's always the non-Asian women who have been with Asian guys who are very vocal about stepping up and being like, nope, not true for me. I dated three Asian guys and they were not small, you know, and they're always very vocal about it. So shout out to them for coming out and, and, to and be defending us. To be fair, because I want to be fair to the Asian girl side or just the Asian side in general. Asians are generally not vocal right. at all. And particularly yeah. when they're in the West, they get like extra small. Yeah. Voice. So, so here's the thing. I, I think a lot of Asian women will also agree with those non-Asian women, but they just don't yeah. leave those yeah, type of They comments. don't want to go to battle with people on Instagram, on Facebook, on yeah. Twitter, variety of platforms, et cetera. Um, well, Somebody, maybe it comes from the culture of being bold and more outspoken. Right. Here's this next collection of comments said, no, most women are the same. They have the same core values. Somebody said, nope, it has way more to, if, whether, to do with whether they adapted to like corporate Fortune 100 culture. Like he was basically saying, if you date a girl from the Fortune 100 system or Fortune 500 companies, they're all going to act the same. But it's just that he's saying more Asians feel corporate than other groups. Mm, so he's like basically saying yes there's differences but the differences are not driven by the ethnicity or the race more so like 
the things they want out of life. Right, right, right. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I, honestly, I think they, 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 they're they like all equivalent layers and maybe for some people, their distribution on like which one was more impactful like varies even per person because how much do they identify with their corporate ident identity versus their uh, motherland one? It's, it's variable yeah, per person. Yeah, whatever. If there's an overarching strong culture, it's going to make a lot of people feel the same. Whether like, let's say every, you're, you're in, yeah, in corporate America, you're working at a bank, Obviously, the Asian women, Latina women, black women, and white women there may seemingly act a little bit but more they're, they're gonna the same. They're going to feel bankified. Yeah, they're just going to feel more like uh, they share a similar culture with you. So. Right, right, right. But if they were, for example, and, and you know, I think bartenders at different bars that cater to each uh, group could still also share some similarities in being outgoing or having a high drinking tolerance because those are the traits you would need to be a bartender, even though the drinks would be different because different cultures drink different liquors and things like spirits. Um, somebody said that one thing I noticed is that all non-Asian women I dated wanted me to be a safe guy or a nice guy type because they were sick of guys acting overly alpha or macho from their world. Yeah, I will say, that, yeah. I mean, I would think you, this is true. You agree? In my experience, I think for a few of the non-Asians that I dated, it was kind of like that. But Like they were um, trying to get away from a archetype within their community. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're trying to get away from their community's version of toxic masculinity, and they see Asian guys. And, and maybe it is a little bit true where Asian guys are a little bit more chill. We're, we're very nice, very right. polite. We're not, on average, there are toxic Asian guys, of course, but not as... I guess, toxic and masculine. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's... Uh, I, I felt some of that when I did it. Somebody said, uh, you know, initially when you're just dating, going on dates, spending money, and the guy's usually paying for the dates, everything's downhill. It's really fun, right? So, yeah, there's some differences, but it's like hiking down a mountain. It's pretty easy. But really, once you... Andrew, he said two things. Once you guys run into problems or, like, want to get married, then cultural differences come into play. And also when you hang out with each other's families, then the customs are really different. Mm. I could see that. You know what I think, man? When you're just dating and you're going out, spending money, having fun, going on dates, I just think that the differences, whether they're big or not, they just don't really come into play. Who's not down for a good time? Like, any girl from any culture... If a guy's like showing them a good time, why not? They like, yeah, you don't. You no, gotta no. be really hate that guy, right? Like, yeah. really not be attracted to him if he's, he's showing you a great time. Dude, those hard conversations don't come up until you're talking about marriage, family, linking yourselves together forever, or having to deal with the issues. Like, I will say this, like, yeah, like you know, like I dated this one white girl, and I, um. She went back home and I started seeing her IG stories and she, I didn't know what her dad looked like, but her dad was like this huge, thick, beer bellied, bearded Polish dude who was on the roof of their shed in the backyard, like yelling, like being goofy and funny and yelling. Like Paul Bunyan or something yeah. like and that. And I was just like, yo, is that your dad? And then she goes, yeah, that's my dad. And I was like, that's who I would hang out with? If we dated for a long time, <laughs> not that I had anything, he seemed like a fun guy, but that was just so different than every single other Asian dad I had ever seen. Ah, uh, but you, cause you haven't dated a Mongolian girl. That's why. But, but <laughs> yeah, maybe in Mongolia, they act like this. I'm yeah. telling this guy was shirts off with a beer in his hand with a hammer, like hammer. Hey, Hey, take this video. And I was like, Yo, this is pretty different than my family. <laughs> He's got a swill of moonshine that he yeah. like made himself. No, he shed. looked like a fun guy I would crack a beer with, but like I'd have to be adapting to his culture. Right, right, right. I mean, ultimately I'll say this, guys. I think that there are certainly patterns that you see, but the like every group has every archetype, but it's almost like we don't come in, like when you're from one group, you don't come into contact with every archetype from another group. Sometimes like, for example, Let's say, for example, you only hang out in Koreatown and you're looking for the type of girls from other groups that come to Koreatown. Those girls are already possibly outliers from the communities they come from, even though they're going to have some traits. Like, you know what I mean? And like, 
culture from the world they come from, they're not, they're already going to be the most open-minded from their world coming to meet you but, but versus you going to like hell's kitchen or like a very non-asian area and trying to hit on girls who like would never go to Koreatown or chinatown uh-huh. well one so you, thing you got to look at what, what where was the magnetism yeah but one thing i would note is that not all asian guys are viewed as asian or as different of products like i think when girls went out with me they knew i was a full asian they knew and i would tell them that like I like Asian food. Not that I'm against non-Asian food. It's just like, I prefer Asian food. So if you date an Asian dude who prefers Asian food, who looks super Asian, like that girl has to be, she's making a decision like, oh yeah, this guy's like Asian, Asian. But like, if she dates an ambiguous ethnic Asian, like that yeah, like Filipino. passes. Yeah, a Filipino or like a Filipino passing or a Spanish passing, a Latino passing Asian, which we, I have lots of friends are that don't give them the super Asian vibes. Yeah, they're not going to feel Confucian yeah. and stuff like then that. Then those girls don't necessarily support the Asian causes yeah, 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 as yeah. much. Yeah, there's, it's going to be, this whole like talk is it, a little bit confusing because dating as like a fob guy with leverage coming to America and dating non-Asian women, being a second generation guy who's like half, half torn between cultures and being like fifth generation and super, super assimilated. Whereas like almost like my Filipino friends that are second gen, they feel like my Chinese friends that are fifth gen more so in terms of like the assimilation timeline, it's going to be all completely different because like you said, some girls are coming to date you to date you plus your culture, mm -hmm. but other girls might just want to date you and not your culture. Yeah, I mean, I even, and this is on an exterior, I, we know a friend in New York who's a very wealthy Asian guy. He's tr triple lingual, like, or four languages. And he's very Asian, though. He looks very Asian. And he was dating, like, this really sweet uh, white girl from Kansas, and she was good looking. But she, I always saw, like, it was weird. Like, she was enjoying herself, but she was always hanging out with a bunch of other Asians. And then after they broke up, she ended up dating and hanging out with more non-Asians after the breakup because that's who her natural group was. She was stretching herself to be with this, you know, well-to-do Asian guy. The Asian bubble or the Asian world. Yeah, right? and, and you know, she, I'm still sure she's friends with people, friendly with people, but where is she going to go next with the rest of her life is probably with the non-Asians. Right. She, she was looking at the sake and soju, saw the white claw, and was like, do, am I going to be with this my yeah. the rest of my life or go with the white claws? Well, I don't know if that's the reason why they broke up, but, you know, generally people, it, when given the option, they will choose to go what feels natural right? and where the wind takes them. Ultimately, guys, I just think that this thread is interesting because there's more and more guys that are dating non-Asian women. I think previously, obviously, if you were a superstar, a model, you, you were doing it, but now, like, almost like average guys are having that ability and probably... You know, more so, uh, let's be honest, Asian women have been probably doing it at a much higher rate for a much longer time. So Asian guys kind of new to the game, talking about it. Hopefully, uh, yeah, it doesn't get too stereotypical, but, you know, there's patterns you see. Anyway, guys, make sure you let us know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, if you're an Asian guy, what is it like dating non-Asian women versus dating Asian women? Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.